I think we sold Rhonda. Time to get her cleaned up and give her our proper send off. I'm gonna miss this old girl. Alright, originally I bought this car years and years ago because my daughter needed an emergency car because her car broke down and it's just dead. So, like in a heartbeat, within hours, I found this car. It's salvaged. I paid a couple grand for it and I got her a car. I spent another three, four thousand dollars on it, making it actually work, new brakes, good tires new headlights, this, that, and the other. Still not that great of a car, but that's actually a functioning good car. It sat around for a while. My oldest son learned how to drive in it, drove it around for a little while, got his license, got a better car. My youngest son, you saw the father and son build part two. We put a system in it, he learned how to drive in it, and then he got him a better car. So I guess there's really no use for old Rhonda anymore. It's time to sell it. I got just the buyer for it. So KK's had his Yukon for six months or something like that, and this thing's just been sitting around, flicking dust out front of the house. I took the speaker box out of it because I didn't want it to get stolen. I kind of covered up the amp because I didn't want anybody to see it, but the deck and the mids and eyes, they're in here. Those are the only thing that are going with this car. I told the new owner that I would hook up the head unit to the separates, the B2 audios in the front, get it playing so it sounds good, and then he can have it from there, but he can't have the amp. That's our father-son project. I'd rather screw it to the wall than sell it to somebody right now. So we're gonna take the amp rack out. The speaker box is already out. So just to show you, it's all still working. I don't know if you're able to see that on camera. It's a little dusty. Let me turn the lights on. Oh, it's still working. All right, so right now, the Sound Digital 4 channel is running the front speakers on the front two channels and the bass on the rear channels, which is not hooked up. So before we pull this amp rack out, I say we give this thing a proper send off. We put those eights back in here one more time, those B2 audios and that Gately audio box, bump the shit out of it, and then we start dismantling it, get this thing ready to go for the new owner, and call it a wrap. But as you can see, it's all working great still, just like the first day. Sounds good, the mids and highs sound actually really nice right now. There's some pollen in here or something from trees or something. Yeah, we seen that they grinded. I should give me some dirtness. Cause I heard that bring eyes in. Oh, you used to, that's cool. I still rock with who right in. Same team and same name. Still got my foot mm -hmm. on the gang. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not in YouTube land. But those door speakers are getting it right now. That's what happens when you set your games properly. You can do that. Your mids and eyes should sound awesome even without a whooper. So I say we pop the truck and put a whooper in here. Get this thing really pumping. Hey, it almost sounds like there is a whooper in there. You put on some headphones or something, you will hear that me. So Those eights are no joke in here. Do that again. Yep. I'm hooking them up hot. I hope I get it hooked up before it goes. Okay, here we go. Oh! Did you get 
Is that on video? Ow. Dude. KK. All right, sometimes all good things must come to an end. I know this is our first system together. We're going to pull that sound digital amp out. You can do whatever you want with it. That's yours. We'll make this thing nice for them. Wipe it down. We'll get this head unit hooked up to the B2 audio separates. We already know it sounds good because we ran it like that for a little while before we got your amp. And then we'll say goodbye to Rhonda. All right. KK requested one more song before we Cut this thing off. All right. What are, what's he gonna play? Some burner, some mozzie. All right. What you got here, man? Oh yeah, you got. <laughs> That's my sound quality shit, man. That's. This ain't mozzie. Something that's on my Spotify, punk. Oh, can't get it on my Bluetooth? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. In case you guys are wondering what this is, Thomas Dolby, Folk Culture, Sound Quality Song. I can't 
play this song very long because the copyright's gonna hit me. So of course I chopped it up. But it's a good track. Try that shit out. If you think your system sounds good, play that track. Alright, now let's get to what you wanted. Alright, I guess the Bluetooth on my phone kicked in. And he picked up something I was playing not that long ago. So now we're gonna play what he wanted. Let's hear this shit. system in your Yukon that'll be 10 times better but this one ain't bad at all I love it it's actually pretty nice yeah I didn't have it bolted down so it was earlier when it was fully installed but while we were just playing it wasn't that's it we out Time for the hand brack. Right, Taking these off. I know it kind of seems weird going from this big wire to this little wire like that, but we had plans for future expansion, which we never got to because this car is on its way out. so I can kind of leave this stuff put together. So if we hang this from the wall or something, it'll all sort of be the way it was. So I'm not gonna strip the zero gauge out. I don't know if they'll ever use it or not, but I don't feel like pulling it out. So we'll just tape it up really good. I'll tell him it's in there. He can hook up a system later, or he can just leave it in there, or he can strip it out and recycle it, I don't care. All right, so I told him I would get it all playing for him, so at least he has some kind of music. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I gotta get this thing out of here in order to do that. There we go. I'm not sure which one of these are the Pioneer ones, but one of them is. Those must have been the right ones. So when we first hooked this up, there was no amp. We just wanted to get it playing, so we hooked up the door speakers up to the high outputs on the Pioneer. And when we finally hooked up the amp, we cut those wires and ran to the doors instead. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put these back where they were. 
All right, it's kind of a basic setup. We don't need nothing too fancy. We got some red butt connectors. I don't know how many I need, like eight or something, but these have heat shrink in them, so they'll shrink down really nice on the wire. Should work good. that remote wire in there we'll leave those RCA's in there I don't know if they'll ever want to hook up a system but if so they'll have RCA's in a remote and all the power ready to go this thing hopefully should just play nice put these RCA's back on so they don't have to pull the deck apart. So, say, I didn't get that. shut up, bitch. I ain't asking nothing. Let's make sure it works before I shove it all the way in there. Make sure the radio is working. On up to fifty percent off all in stock patio furniture and pay no sales tax on umbrellas, fire. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's still playing good. Still not on the track. <laughs> hey, not bad. We're good to go. Time to clean up some of this mess. It up. We're gonna wipe it down, get it all ready for him, and it's gonna be gone. I don't know what the thing is for this. So we'll take this out just for safety, put it in the glove box in case they ever want to use it. The wire is taped up in the back, but you never know. She's dusty, but she polishes up okay. Watch how she looks when we're finished.
So I think we're about done with this adventure. All I gotta do is run this bad boy through the quick quack, and it's good to go. Hey, believe me, Rhonda loves the quick quack. That's pretty good, bud. That's pretty good. Rhonda's dirty, she just needs a little splash. A little tire shine. She'll be good to go. Now we have a quick quack. Yeah. <laughs> Six bucks, we're gonna be good to go. We'll give it another wipe down as well. Hey man, I'm doing I'm doing a little send off for my YouTube channel, so I'll, I'll try to keep you in it. But uh, just let you know what I'm doing. All right, we're over here at the Quick Quack. You know what I mean? We're getting ready to get this done. We got the new car sent. These guys are always hooking it up proper over here. And um, twelve ninety nine. We're gonna make this thing shine. Right Is that right, man? Yes, sir. All right, man. Woo. I don't know if this thing can handle the. So, I hope it doesn't peel the... Get all that back. $13.99 makes $14.15. Right, right. Five is 20 All right, thank, thank you, you man. Have a great day. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Look at that. I even got the upgraded wash to make sure that my guy's happy with this car when he gets it. This car ain't nothing special, but we'll clean it up as good as we can. Tire shine, we're good to go. All right, next stop, we gotta go see if this thing will pass smog. And if it does, I can sign the title over to him and it's finally gone. Wish it luck, I think it will though. Get the green light. Man, this thing already looks a million times better. I can see through the windshield. sitting on brand new Pirellis. They don't have that many miles on them. This thing rides really smooth. No complaints with this car. It's just an old bird, that's all. I gotta be honest, I really don't wanna let this car go. If this thing was teal green or teal blue, it would've been my dream car and I probably wouldn't let it go. But like I said, I gotta do what I gotta do. Can't have this many pink slips and this many registrations. It gets old. Of course we got that new car sent. We'll just hang it there for right now. Make it smell good in here. Make it smell like a new car. Is it gonna pass? Is it gonna fail? Well, it passed. It looks like this is my last ride in the Accord. I'm gonna miss you, Rhonda. But hopefully you make somebody else happy. They really want this car, so. So hopefully whoever ends up with this car is really happy with it. it worked out well for us. As you can see, I'm sending this thing out of here with a nice hot charge. 14.3 volts. I'll be taking that volt meter back though. It's been plugged in there for like five years. Works good. There it goes. The new owner. Bye, Rhonda. See you later, Rhonda. Oh, Rhonda's coming back. Oh, Rhonda's back. Oh, Rhonda's leaving. Bye, Rhonda. <laughs>